I'm Holly Lucas with uh, Customer Agronomist with Dow Seeds and uh, we're here to talk about uh, scouting for western bean cutworm eggs. Um, so we talked a bit before about uh, setting up a moth trap and looking for moth flight patterns in your cornfields. Um, once you start catching a moth per day is a good time to think about um, that now you need to go and start looking for egg masses. Um, you're starting to get to when the moth flights are going to increase and they should peak over the next two to three weeks. Um, and that's when you're gonna get most of your egg masses laid in your corn. So once you start catching moths every day in your trap, um, you wanna come out into your cornfield and the, the number of plants you need to scout is 10 plants in a row. You wanna look for an egg mass on those 10 plants. So that's 10 plants per 10 acres. Um, so then you just do multiple locations for a larger field. So we're here in our row and we're gonna look for an egg mass. So I've got 10 plants right here. Um, and you just look along and you're gonna look at these top leaves because the, um, the moth is gonna lay her eggs up near where the tassel is gonna come out because the eggs feed on the um, pollen that comes out of the tassel and the, as they're going down into the ear. Um, so she's gonna lay her eggs somewhere on one of these top leaves. Um, and right here we have an egg mass. So we have, right now we found one egg mass in our 10 plants. The threshold for an insecticide spray is 5% of um, plants that you scout have an egg mass. So if you scout 20 plants, it's one egg mass in 20 plants. Um, so we're at threshold here. Um, you would need to start monitoring um, to spray an insecticide. So this is our egg mass. Um, it's, a, it's a beige color. When the moth first lays her eggs, the eggs are white, and then they turn this beige color. So it's probably been here for a couple of days. Um, and then just before it hatches, they're gonna turn purple. Um, so moth, or eggs take about five to seven days to hatch anywhere in there. Um, and uh, once they hatch, the, uh, the larvae hatch out. And um, if a corn plant is tasseling, they eat the pollen, that's their food source. And they're gonna climb down the plant and um, get into your ear. Um, so right now we're just starting to um, be at the point where you need to scout. Um, there's not a lot of economic damage right now if the larvae hatch because there's no food for them to eat, they starve. But as we get into tasseling, pollination, um, and your cob is starting to develop, that's when they get into your ear. Um, so your later planted fields are more at risk than an earlier planted field or an earlier hybrid. If you want some more information, there's some information on our website, www.dowseeds.ca, or you can contact your seed partner or um, myself or anyone in the office.